Welcome everybody, my name is Brett Wells. Uh, I work for Sigma Photo. Today we're going to talk about teleconverters, specifically the TC1401 1.4x converter and the TC2001 uh, 2x converter, the current offerings from Sigma Photo. Now a teleconverter is just something that fits on the back of a lens and magnifies the light coming through. A 1.4x converter is going to increase the uh, magnification by 40%. A 2x converter is going to double it or increase it by 100%. Uh, that can be a really great way to get to a longer focal length, more magnification, more reach from lenses that you already have. Uh, a single teleconverter could actually work with different lenses, multiple lenses that you have in the same mount. Not necessarily every one, and we'll talk about that in just a moment. Uh, it can also be a smaller, lighter combination uh, that you could put a teleconverter on a smaller lens and get to uh, more magnification rather than some of the large, uh, heavy prime lenses that are out there. Uh, it can also be used on long glass like the 100 to 400, the two 150 to 600s, or the 60 to 600, and get even more reach out of those lenses. Now, there are three main limitations to teleconverters, uh, or three things to consider when trying to pair these to a lens. The first, of the, the first of those things is physical fit, the actual coupling of the teleconverter to the lens. Now some lenses have a piece of glass or the rear element of the lens that actually protrudes out of the back of the lens. Not everyone, but some of them do. Some teleconverters have a piece of glass that sticks out from the front of the teleconverter. And if that's the case, those two are not going to fit together. You'll actually damage the lens or the converter. So you need to do some research and make sure that the two are meant to go together in the first place or be very, very careful testing them out. Uh, also, some manufacturers put tabs and notches on lenses and teleconverters just to keep you from putting a lens uh, or teleconverter on a lens that it was never designed to go on in the first place. The second thing to consider is firmware. Now, our teleconverters are designed to work with our global vision lenses or specific ones uh, in the global vision uh, family and they are going to be compatible, the firmware is going to be fine. If you start to mix and match teleconverters and lenses from different manufacturers, there can be some communication issues. Unfortunately, there's no real way to tell what's going to work and what's not. So there's no chart, there's no magic formula, it's just something that you'd have to try out. But keep in mind that that may be an issue and that may be the reason that things aren't working. Uh, the third thing to consider is teleconverters are going to lose light. As you magnify the image, you're spreading the light out, you have less exposure. A 1.4x converter is going to lose one stop, a 2x converter is going to lose two stops. That's one that's going to affect your overall exposure. You're going to have to increase the ISO or increase the shutter speed in order to compensate for that. The other side, though, is cameras are designed to autofocus with a lens that reaches 5.6 or maybe 6.3. Some cameras can autofocus with lenses that only go to f8, uh, generally in the center, some farther out. Higher end cameras have more f8 focus points than lower end cameras, but they are becoming more common. But if I take a lens like a 2.8, 70 to 200 2.8, and double it, the aperture goes to 5.6. Any camera should be able to autofocus with that lens still. But if I take a lens that already goes to 5.6 and double that, I'm at f11. And there's not a camera out there that's going to autofocus with a lens that only goes to f11. It's not the lens's fault. It's not the teleconverter's fault. It's just that the, the autofocus sensor in the camera is not getting enough light. Now, some of our lenses and teleconverter combinations, specifically the 100 to 400, the two 150 to 600, and the 60 to 600, generally autofocus on cameras with f8 focus points with our TC1401, even though that aperture becomes f9. So as far as firmware and uh, the accessory USB dock from Sigma, the teleconverters don't actually have firmware built in, so they don't need the, tele the uh, USB dock for themselves, but the USB dock will recognize the teleconverter on a lens. It will allow you to set the custom settings, custom focus calibrations, a few things like that that are unique to the pair, uh, paired lens and teleconverter, and then if you're shooting without the teleconverter, it will go back to uh, the settings that you made without that. Teleconverters may not be the best way to get to a longer focal length, but they can be a very good way to do that. They can provide a lot of benefits and a lot of flexibility to the camera system that you already have. 
Thank you for tuning in. As always, you can find us at sigmaphoto.com. You can email info at sigmaphoto.com. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thank you very much.